Hello everybody and welcome once again to All The Mobs 4. I'm just out at night seeing if I can get some phantom brains. So there we are, so if it's any around. Actually there was just one. And there's one up here. So I'm using my sword here. Oops, missed. I think I missed that one. <laughs> you can see my armour went up a bit. That time I didn't. <laughs> Got him. Takes about three shots for this particular sword. And I just got another two phantom membranes. So there should be, they usually come in threes, so that's the second one. And there's going to be another one around in a second, I guess. But it's probably easier to look on the minimap, so you have something moving fast towards me. Anyway, I'll be back in a second if there's something we interesting. Go. Ooh, two this time. Right. Now I'm just going to change over swords again. Well, they're coming directly difficult. Slightly difficult this time. One there, and where's the other one? Over here. Oops. Missed that. Well, I actually got that one too. These zombies are just unfortunately getting in the way at the same time. <laughs> Where's the other one? Third one gone too. Uh, there we are. In fact, I've had four in this particular case, which is how many have you got this time? 12 brains. That's not too bad. I want 32. The reason I want 32 is because I would like to get the Sharpness 10 enchant from one of those travelling traders on a sword. In fact, I guess that's the last of them. But I'll be back in a second if there are any more. So, between episodes, I've actually now got 30 of the 32 membranes that I need. I was collecting some more um, resources. Let's just do more gold. Because we're a bit short of gold at the moment. Uh, especially as I upgraded all of the... Uh, let's have a look. I upgraded all of the um, wireless modems to ender modems. And they require... Eight gold per, and there were four, so there's half a stack of gold, which leaves me with just a measly 13 plus one, <laughs> one short of nugget. Short of nugget. They also made some more lasagna, uh, so we can, if we ever go somewhere dangerous, that'll be fun. I also to change, move the way the farms were set up. That was, in, that was getting in my nerves, to be honest with you. They're too near. This bit area is a bit messy here, and I'm just. Coming back here, and you'll notice that there's still no milk in here, but this is getting nicely filled up. And now you'll see that there are two cattle in here. Well, one cattle, one sheep. I'm just wondering whether to have a pair, two pairs. But it's certainly worthwhile doing this to these guys with the sword, particularly with this sword, because we get I got three raw mutton. How many raw beef? Four raw beef I got from that particular stuff. Did I get any leather? No, I didn't. I got one wool. So. And they need the raw beef, of course, for the um, three, four, five, six. I need for this because I need the raw beef for lasagna. I'll cook so we can make some more lasagna. That's basically what it's all about. But there is another thing we can do. That I would like to do that today is to set up mob slaughter factory on these things. Is that all six? Yes, that's all six. I should have taken this out of my hand before I started that. You also get this bezor thing, which I'm not 100% sure what its uses is in fact it doesn't seem to have any uses but the mod that it belongs to let's go and have a look inside here i want to get rid of the food that i've got in here oh yes i did it's a traveling trader so i've got an, a totem of undying i'm not sure if that's there i'm not sure if there's a recipe for that to be done as well oh an evoker this is a mod drop so i got it from actually trading rather than killing an evoker <laughs> haven't got that far yet I think that would probably be a challenge to do in its own right. I'm just wondering if I've got any. Actually, there was some wool in there. Let's just shift click that into there. Uh, actually, I'm not sure I'm keeping them food, to be honest with you. Actually, I do know where I'm keeping it. I moved down. Nope, not there. This chest in here. So I'll put the raw beef and the raw mutton in there. Because I cook some. Let's just 
not bad, but there's no recipes for this as such. You can't use uh, mutton in any way except for co cooking it. So if you look for the recipes of that, just basically you can make it from here uh, and then eat it, cook it and eat it. So that's actually probably quite a good way, cheap essence. Um, I wonder if you can do leather that way. So let's have a look at the recipe for this one. Probably be a little leathery yeah, cow essence, so we can cook see reprocess to cow essence and then I guess we can make leather, sick leather that way, which is another way. And we can also milk a milk bucket the same way. Interesting. I haven't done that either. Maybe we shall have a go at doing that at some stage because we've got those cows there and I can simply kill those easily enough with uh, what tier were they, those seeds? I didn't notice, I think. So what, cow seeds? Prudentium, so that's tier two. Should tell me it's tier two somewhere. Yeah, indeed. Very easy. So I was going down here and I've done some more uh, mining. What I'd like to do today is not that. I've got the two machines set up in here. Let's just sort my inventory bits here and then we can take this stuff out of here like this. What I'm going to do is to make an animal feeder and an animal slaughter factory. So let's set those up from industrial foregoing. It's quite a lot of industrial foregoing at the moment. So we would like the uh, animal ranch. We've done that. Have plant gather, plant sir, plant fertilizer, animal feeder. This one here. Fairly straightforward. Um, to look at that recipe again. Golden carrots, golden apple. I've got golden apples from those trees. And pity machine for made those. Purple floral dye from um, Botania dead easy too, so that's no big deal. And then we've got the animal slaughter factory. It's this one here. Oh, nothing special about this either. So let's click that into place. So the and I would like some wooden fences, possibly more. Plenty of sticks. I'm not sure I'm getting all those sticks from. Oh, I do know where I'm getting those sticks from. They're coming from fishing, but not my fishing. The, the fish, the strainer. So let's have a look. Let's make those into there like that. And that should make us six, I guess. So yeah, that's ten. Good. Let's put those sticks back. We don't need those. And let's set this up. I'll do the cabling off camera because it's fairly straightforward. We've done it loads of times before. So here is where we need to slaughter them. <laughs> Poor animals. But obviously we've got to do the same thing as we did last time. Otherwise they'll try. Otherwise they'll get out. So if I break away this one here, then I can put the slaughter factory in here. And as usual, it wants to go that way. So it faces that direction. If I look at the show the working area here, it's just one block. It might be enough actually. I'm probably I'm, I may ex could extend it. But if I extend it, then it's going to go across into there, which I don't want to do. But we do have to put another fence on top of that, otherwise the animals will get out. So that's why I made these fences like that. They can't get out otherwise. Of course, it needs power, and I guess that the power is going to be underneath here. By th yeah, you can see this. I don't need to do this. I could come in from a different direction. But I will have to get out. So let's just uh, bring my way out of here. Like that. So let's get the fishing rod in hand. Pick up the stuff. Good. And wire I've got in one of these bags. I think it's in here. Wire. I've got wire and I've got... Oh, I want that as well, don't I? So let's just put the wire down. Power it up. Oh, not far enough out yet. So wire goes from here. Change it over to be an output. So this will now have power, as you can see. And turn off the working area. So that's going to give us two two things. It's going to give us meat and pink slime. With the meat, we should be able, when we get a bucket's worth, we will be able to make. Um, mechanical dirt and I'm actually curious about mechanical dirt that's why I'm doing this process now so let's fill all this area in because we don't need this anymore I think that's just two blocks yes 
So as those animals will grow up, they'll come into here like that, and they probably get slaughtered. Ah, <laughs> oh, just happens that one happened to come in. I probably don't need to do anything. You probably move around a bit, and you'll get pushed. If I do, then we can do a plus one upgrade. But I don't want the plus one to kill this baby. In which case, I might have to move everything further back. But I've got some plus ones. Let's go and have a quick look at that. See how far they do reach, because. I didn't expect the sheep to grow up as quite as quickly as that. So these are the ones we need here, and I probably need a range of two or four. I'm not sure which for the feeder. We can easily see. I think it's probably two. So we can quickly test this. If it, if it needs to go further out, I'll just move it in my own time. So you know what I'm doing. So let's put in the plus one, show the area, put in the plus one, and you'll see that that's actually going to kill any, I think it would probably be alright actually, it would be ideal to move this back one, because now we will have some slight pink slime and a little bit of liquid meat in here. So as the animals get slaughtered this will co go up and up. And I will actually move this back one, but I'll do that one time. So the other thing we're going to do, we're going to come across here and we're going to put down the animal rancher. So that wants to go here. So all I need to do is to move this torch off here, put a, put a birch in here like that, break this piece here and put in its place the animal feeder. And of course all we need to put in the animal feeder is wheat. So I'll just go down here now, bring me way down, I need to go down here, three, and in fact we can already see the cabling coming through there from before, so we just need to bring this up, like that, change this over, And then it'll be ready it'll start to provide food so I think it's probably a plus two in here let's put plus two and set the range up we'll have a look at the range yes that's spot on the one I need to now is fill in this dirt so go and get some wheat and you'll notice over here I'm just having a look this is actually working I didn't think the sower was working but you'll see that gold seeds are here and that basically means these three blocks this nine area here so that to be a gold seed and here we've got all the wheat so let's go and harvest some of this wheat here oops i was being daft i've got dirt in my hand because it's planted two blocks of <laughs> dirt <laughs> let's get the fishing rod in the other hand and click it all up what am I doing now? I thought I'd move. Ah, yes, of course. Disadvantage and advantage used to everything. And these are tomatoes to my right here. I haven't automated this yet. I suppose I could do. If I do it, I'll do it exactly the same way as I've done it before. Maybe I'll change the mod just to see if there's a better one. So we've got 54 wheat, which is about right, because I had 54 seeds. And these are tomatoes for the lasagna, so we can harvest some of these up. Right click again, like that. And you get seeds at the same time. Not quite so many, but not bad. In here, we're doing fine. Look at this, the amount of um, gold essence is now 31, which will give us just under half a, it'll give us four, it's 32 actually it'll give us 32 I think that's probably wrong 16 it'll give us 16 with one extra so oh I didn't put the meat in I should have put the, the food in the, in the here and I need a way to actually be able to take food and feed the animals automatically but this actually lasts quite a reasonable amount of time so let's just do that you'll see this will disappear and then the animals will start to get fed like that and then they'll produce more babies they'll get picked up pushed over there and they'll grow up and get slaughtered which is i suppose as good as we can do really isn't it i'm just curious to know whether or not this will actually work 
We'll find out. No point in slaughtering babies. So that's really most of what this episode is going to be about. But let's just have a look. How much gold have we got in here? We've got a reasonable amount of gold in here now. Because it is a rarity at the moment. And it's still a rarity. So, so that'll give me 32. And then this will give me another... Oh, actually, I'm just short of one, aren't I? Four, oh, it'll give me 40. That's not too bad. I won't complain about that. So we've got a stack of gold for the price of basically some Inferium. Uh, you'll see, notice I've also got some more Prosperity ore because I was farm, I was mining down below. Um, let me just shift to anything I've got in here because my inventories are getting a bit, bit full. Gold essence can go in here, can't it? Anything else in here? No. Just the range upgrade we'll put back over here. Yes. So what I might do, I've been debating about this. So anybody's got any opinions? Because I don't. I'm actually quite a long way ahead in terms of. Oh, there won't be any phantoms for another hour. By the way, they come every once every number of days. Let's just put those boots back on again because I probably don't need to grind too many mobs around. You'll see these. I'm. Um, but here is now safe. It wasn't safe completely before, but now it's safe. Um, they can't. The mobs can't get in, and they can't spawn in here because it's too dark. So what I'm thinking about here, you'll see this level here is a block, is one block higher than most of the other areas. So I'm just thinking about taking everything down to this level which is 63. I'm not sure whether I want to take everything down or bring everything up. I think maybe this is the actual base level here. So maybe it's a good idea to bring everything up. But of course, that means I have to mess around with all this stuff. And I'm half debating whether I want to do that or not. <laughs> It'll be a big job. Uh, with some rewards, of course. Right, daytime. Um, what I'm going to do, now let's have a look at some other stuff in here. There's a, these, those things we're getting from sheep, um, they come from a mod called Potions Master. And the Potions Master's got some interesting bits and pieces in it. Is that, I don't know, I'll just see which one it is. Potions Master. Like this, they have all of these copper side i have no idea what it does but we'll we'll do it so we'll make a pestle and we'll make some copper ingots and we'll make one of these because we've got the zinc site i just have no idea what they are um maybe they show you something when we actually have it let's just try it and see what happens there's a couple of other mods which are Interesting. The one that was mother with from the feathers. Let's have a look at that one. I can't remember the name of it. Something like um, it's got a strange name for what it is. Usage of those makes this one here restrictions. That's it. Yes. So if you have a, also have a look at the, what you can do with restrictions, not very many things in restrictions as it happens. Oops, that's really right. You'll see it's only got four blocks or three blocks and a pair of glass boots. Now the glass boots prevent you're getting blown about by the um, about these attractors and pushers and this is a one way I'm not sure what that means I'm not sure what the difference between that one and that one is maybe I'll build it and we'll see. oh interesting it's got a rail in it and slime balls we'll try that next episode I think but for t for now we're going to have to make one of these so we're two, basically two one diamond and two uh, what's it called I can't remember the name <laughs> quartz Another quartz will do. Another quartz, I think, is in here. Two another quartz, one diamond. See, I've got no shortage of diamonds at the moment. Oh, thank you very much for that particular sword. That was the and the, that pick. It's amazing. So now we take that. So we then have. It was copper site, wasn't it? It's not. You won't be able to use this copper dust. You'll have to make a different copper dust, I guess. We can try it and see. So we have to make mundane potion first of all. So let's have a look at that again. We can actually have a look at the uses of this. It's basically for grinding anything. So redstone powder, for example. 
Um, and we'll have a look at the uses of that. So we can then put that onto mundane potion. Now mundane potion is actually made with some fairly expensive bits like spider or not. Like rabbit's foot, haven't got any. Magna creams is a bit sort of close shrooms. They're sort of reasonably expensive. Sugar isn't, so what makes you sugar? <laughs> strange because some of those are really cheap and some of them are very expensive so i want it's actually in my bag of course because it's a trading it's a trading material so we'll take one of those out convert that to sugar so we need three bottles of water which i'll go and get from over here if i get in that is you'll notice i also got rid of the door it was actually strange enough it was irritating me what am i looking for um, bottles of water, there, here we are. If you couldn't see out, I changed the door to being an ordinary and put, and left, put this back there, another pressure plate so it closes as we come in, which is, I think, probably the best way. So we want to have these three out of, these are the fire resistance potions. Push those in like that. Make some mundane potion. Of course, now it's going to use, we've got plenty of blaze powder because and very quick actually, it didn't take very long to get those. Especially with this sword, it was using captive dreams. Even though it's only looting four, compared to the other one which is looting five, it's still adequate. There we go. Now, copper side, that's... Well, that's the copper dust, doesn't it? So that doesn't go in there. So we do have to pistol and mortar it, okay. So let's, let's craft those two together. We get this copper powder, okay, as opposed to copper dust. So we should be able to put this copper powder in here like that, and then brew up some sight. And I don't know if it's got any uses for this when we've actually made it. So, except for splash, I don't get it. Or what this? We'll find out in a second. We'll see for ourselves. So here we have got copper sight lasts for five minutes and let's have a look at the uses of one of these so we can make it to splash and that's basically it but it lasts for five minutes let's try one so i've got this copper site now was it going to show me copper because copper's low down it's not a very deep ore or have I got some other effect that I'm not noticing? I'm suspect. I'm expecting. It. Oh, look! There you go. Yes, exactly. So this is allowing, showing you where copper is. So let's go and break away. <laughs> wow! Didn't actually take too long to find that. Let's just do this. And there's some more up there. So that, so that we can use that for diamonds, I guess. Like that, and I think that's probably the two. It's gone off now. Yes, it looks like it's the two. So I'll have to fill this, and otherwise we'll get mobs spawning in here. For the time being, I'll just put down the torch. I've got one with me. How many copper ores did we get? Thirteen. Right for the price of one. So it's not too bad. Uh, let's have a look around here. There we got some more up there. Look, two put two blocks. And there's a bunch over here. They don't think it's very far away. So let's have a look how far away is this one. That's a bit gone to. Looks like my pick's getting to a bad state. Actually, it's showing me one block or so far away. So I'll or excavate it out, and that's that done. And then we go, so we now got 21, which isn't too bad. I'm going to put down a torch in here as well. So we don't get mob spawning in this place. They're not supposed to be spawning. And you see there, there's more. So that's how that works. So you've got emerald site, um, iron site, all of the other sites. So if you're looking for something specific, this seems to be a good way to go about it. Um, I'm just wondering if you've got gold site. will be also one of these. We'll have gold powder. The uses of that will be gold site. Uh, mundane, yeah, gold site for five minutes. And then you can make splash. I'm not quite sure why you'd want to use splash. But anyway, gold site. So if we actually have a look at gold ore. 
I'm not sure if it's going to show too much in here. Let's have a look at the recipe for this. Oh, it can make it from seeds, right? It does show you world generation good. So it's saying it's being produced from basically zero to wherever that is. Uh, it doesn't tell me that much, does it? <laughs> Got to guess. It looks like it's around about 32, which I think is what's probably about right for gold. Uh, we also got Orchida from that, which is basically converting stone into gold using this functional flower. Seed that I want didn't do it. Okay, there's a bit of work to do to get this one. But actually not that difficult. What have you got? Ruins of Pride, uh, which is two mana diamonds. Yeah, I'd have to do some. Maybe it's worth doing this, actually. I haven't done any Botania for a very long time. Well, that's it for this episode. Actually, when I'm going, just as a closing clip, I'm going to show you what happens in the thunderstorm in the non, in the yet another mining dimension. So until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.